welcome to my Dutch bucket system at the Botany House. What is a Dutch bucket? Basically, it's a, you know, I guess a bucket with a hole at the bottom, you see. And uh, that connects to any, after uh, when, it, when the water pump is on and it's dripping and any excess water pours out to that return pipe. And in this system, it's an open system, meaning the solution is waste. This system here on that table is a recycle, closed loop, so the excess water returns to the tank. I'm using perlite, 100% perlite, which what you see, that was white bees that you see in your uh, potting mix bag. But I've seen research that if you mix it two to one with vermiculite, so let's say by volume, two cups of perlite, one cup of vermiculite, I, I've seen, and everything else is the same, fertilizer, water, uh, all that is the same. Plants in that mixture grew better than plants in pure perlite. So that's a project I would like to do to confirm uh, my colleague's results. Like uh, vermiculite by itself too. Okay, we have basil here that we have been harvesting and this is the end of the season, so we shut off the water, we did the last harvest, and um, you know, soon we're gonna dig up the plants and uh, be, in, be in a hobby or demonstration system, not a, not a hobby, demonstration system, not a commercial operation. Uh, I would like to recycle the perlite uh, just as a proof of concept for homeowners or people who cannot afford to buy perlite all the time. You know, I can go like this, recycle it, uh, and this way I throw all this instead of uh, throw all this and having to buy more perlite. Commercially, they dump the whole bucket out and they refill it because the labor cost to do all this work is more expensive than buying and refilling with perlite. But as a hobby system or a small scale operation, you can afford to do this. And I've done it many times, proving that it's not toxic and no disease is gonna carry from one crop to the other. Of course, I inspect the roots, I make sure everything's fine. Like one time when I had tomatoes, I cleaned them up well and looked if there's any uh, root knot nematodes on the root on the roots to tell me if there were, I would not uh, use the perlite again.